and here is the after. I'll clean it up a little bit. Um, used uh, what did I use? Pledge for the wood. Um, just got a Meguiar's leather cleaner conditioner. AutoZone and your local grocery store. It's not as shiny as it looks in this video, but uh, it's got a nice sheen to it. Here's the part that's missing. I raised so you can kind of see how it works. Like I said, it's a cantilever. So the metal piece would go under the notch and was spring loaded. So when you push down on the spring or toward the chair, the metal piece would come away and let, letting it slide down. And of course, it, when you uh, let go of the spring or let go of the lever, spring pressed in. So as you lifted it up, it will lock automatically as it came up. Um, there's a tag on the back, but it doesn't say anything. Can't make anything out. I like the legs. Uh, so yeah, with the legs, it makes it very light. I might have said that already. I uh, I lowered the chair back to to the lowest position. And uh, so I'm missing that footrest. A little disappointed. anyone has any questions let me know I'm no uh, chair expert I started researching these about two weeks ago uh, maybe three yeah maybe a month ago start looking for one about two weeks ago um, a, lot of, a lot of good stuff on eBay but you know with the shipping uh, at that freight will cost you probably another three hundred dollars on top of the chair and then, of course, you don't see the chair until you get it. But, uh, so yeah, if, you ever, if you're in the market in eBay and you're looking at a chair, if you can get them to send you a video of the chair, instead of still photos, you can get a better idea how it looks. Um, it's, a, it's an investment. These, uh, like I said, it's a gorgeous chair. Um, you know, there's a history behind it. You know, this is what uh, craftsmanship look looked like back in the day. Beautiful work, hard work, I'm sure. Patented September eighth, eighteen ninety one. And I guess it applied APL. Uh, 24 apply huh, April the April 24th 1894 and, uh, I've seen a few differences in these I've seen one with a screw hole here maybe they filled it in I don't know I don't know what would have gone underneath um, I was thinking maybe a piece of wood or something just to, to finish off the look you see some of those kokens at the wood uh, underneath and looks really nice the underside, underside I'm trying to see where I can't really see what you screw underneath there but um, not a lot out there on these chairs unfortunately so this is my contribution to the uh, barber chair community is uh, posting this YouTube video um, thanks for checking it out and uh, enjoy the uh, rest of your day